tested, 2023 BMW X1 is practical, not experimental. There's nothing radical about the new version of BMW's smallest SUV, but it offers a lot for a smallish price. Update December 29, 2022. This review has been updated with test results. Despite a name shared with a rocket-powered aircraft, there's little chance of mixing up BMW's X1 with Bell's. We're sure Chuck Yeager would have appreciated such luxuries as interior mood lighting and the option of a Bang & Harman slash Cardin 12-speaker stereo. Unlike his radical experimental plane, the BMW X1 is a pleasant small SUV that offers an attractive entry point to German brand motor, and it isn't breaking barriers or speed records, even if you dropped it from the belly of a B29. BMW Skunk Works have recently been experimenting with dramatic design elements inside and out. The X1 is a more traditional offering with a smooth exterior and a small, almost square kidney grille, understated next to the flared nostrils of most of the current BMW lineup. Still BMW's smallest SUV, the X1 has grown to nearly the size of a first-generation BMW X3, now in its third iteration since its 2009 introduction. The Ute is 1.7 inches longer and taller, and it's almost an inch wider than last year's all-wheel drive equivalent. The wheelbase is 0.9 inch longer, and the track width is greater by 0.8 inch. The result is more interior room and a hint of bulldog stance. View photos Michael Samari vertical bar car and driver, a revised engine and a new transmission. Under the hood is a good old gas burner, a turbocharged 2.0 liter Miller cycle 4 cylinder with a few extra horses squeezed in. An electric version, the 91, is available in other markets but won't come here. Changes to the combustion chamber geometry and the new port and direct injection system bumped the power plant to 241 horsepower, from 228 and 295 pound feet of torque. In our testing, the X1 at full thrust reached 60 miles per hour in 5.4 seconds and covered the quarter mile in 14.1 seconds at 99 miles per hour, replacing the previous 8 speed automatic. A 7 speed dual clutch gearbox has a wider ratio spread and allows coasting. If you want it on high alert for grabbing gears, the Sport mode shifts with more vigor, and the M Sport package, $2,300, provides paddle shifters that put the decision making in the driver's hands. Highs, no big nose BMW grill, intriguing interior design, good old gas burning engine. We found the powertrain to be quiet and smooth in traffic and highway cruising but a bit sluggish when asked to make high-speed passes or accelerate uphill, despite the X1's reasonably zippy 4.3 second 50 to 70 mile per hour passing time. There's some turbo lag to be found here, even in sport mode, which helped contribute to a relatively pokey 6.6 second pull from 5 to 60 miles per hour. EPA fuel economy estimates are 28 miles per gallon combined, 25 miles per gallon city, and 34 miles per gallon highway which are some 2 to 3 miles per gallon better than last year's all-wheel drive model. Running the X1 hard through Southern California's mountain roads, we averaged only 23 miles per gallon. Though, view photos Michael Samari vertical bar car and driver. One big change to the X1 for 2023 is that all-wheel drive is now standard. During easy motoring, the front wheels handle the majority of driving duties, but any loss of traction sends power to the rear. Dynamically, the X1 is fun to drive, scooting happily around corners. Its small size makes it well matched for narrow roads, and, when you're done, narrow parking spots. Neither the steering wheel nor the brake pedal offers much feedback. Even so, on its optional 20-inch summer tires, our test car needed 167 feet to stop from 70 miles per hour and generated 0.86 grams of grip on the skid pad. Interior